Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, you are going to get introduced to lot many important things like data driven testing. We have already seen this practically in the automated software testing video. I have completely, it's a 45 minutes video, which you must have already watched. If not, please do watch that. Here we are going to cover few more aspects around the data driven testing. We are going to see how can you generate test data. There is an option called auto generate. How to use it? Where do you find that? And then we are also going to see about update test data, right? How you really update a test data? What are the options? And then we are also going to see update test data directly in the JSON. So what is the JSON file? Where do you find it? All of these things we are going to see in this video. So do not skip the video, watch till the end. Anybody who is watching till the end, please do comment and let me know. I would really like to see those people who do not skip the videos and watch till the end to learn everything in detail. So let's start from the very beginning. Let's say if I ask you create a test case for a workflow. So what do you do? You right click on this and then you click on create test case. And then you see this test case hit, you know, you provide a name to the test case. You select the BDD template and then hit on next. And then this is the place where you can provide your test data. So here you would select a file. For example, if you have the data in a file, for example, here is my Excel file, which contains certain data for the application. So this is how you select a file. You select that specific location of the file open and hit on next and create it. I have kept it open. That's why the error is there. So you must close the file and then attach it. So this is how you create it. Now, let's say you have only limited data. After a certain moment, you felt I have to add few more data to the sheet or you have to have a new sheet, which will have a different kind of a data. Okay. So if that is the requirement, right? If that is the uh, requirement, how will you really, um, you know, update this particular test data? So for example, this is my file. I'll go to my UiPath Studio. I'll go to the project and select the test case where you would like to update, which is the test case where you would like to update. You first select that, right click on it, and then you need to click on update test data. So if you are not able to understand these terms or getting confused, that means you may not have properly watched or you did not watch the previous set of videos. So you must watch them so that you understand what I'm talking. Okay. That is a must. So once you have the understanding, you've got to understand if you have to update the input, you simply click on update test data. And here, this is the, it will show the existing test data, the file that you have attached. It will give you the name. Now the, the first name is the name of the file and this underscore the second one is the sheet name. Here in my case, the file name is same and the sheet name is also same. That's why it is appearing that way. Otherwise, if you keep sheet one, it will say underscore sheet one. This you must understand. Now for me to update, all I have to do, select the source. Let's say there's a different file or the same file. I need to select it because I've kept it open. This error is coming just to for demonstration purpose and then hit on import. So that way you will be importing the new test data. Now, what is this option? Update all test cases using the same test data. So remember, you are only selected one test case and updating the test case uh, test data. Now here, if you wanted to, let's say I have got multiple such test cases which are created, which are in grain color, and I would like to use the same data for all the test cases. Then you simply click on update all test cases using the same test data. Getting it? This is for these xamls test case xamls it will so all these test case xamls will be using this using the same file the new file that is the meaning next thing we will see around how do you update so let me right click on any of these test cases and click on update test data auto generate how can you auto generate your test data is there an option yes there is an option here called auto generate so if you use this auto generate option it is going to automatically generate the test data for you at this moment there, there is certain problem which i have reported to uipath you can see it is not exactly generating the uh, test data properly for me it has got some random value for the email 
loan term is something different and all that it is not exactly matching how i want so it is not generating the realistic data so this i have reported hopefully it will be corrected but there is an option for you to know that auto generate okay so that's why i want to let you know there is an option called auto generate hopefully in the future it may be working now the next thing i would like to show you about the json file the moment you upload an excel file for example if i'm going to right click and update test data and i'm going to select file and here i will select some file and hit on open so what happens once i import once i import what would happen a json file get created under the test data section if you do not see test data ensure you have already put a check boxes hopefully that should appear automatically in the test data section you would find the number of files that you have uploaded will appear here so what is this file now this are the json file and how do you get the documentation from where do you get the documentation if you open the data driven testing docs so here they have mentioned if you would like to modify the test data whatever data you have uploaded you want to up, make some changes to that then how you do it so you have to open the json file under the test data section so let me show you practically go here go to the project section open the test data and double click on this so it will open this code editor window would open double click on it so let's say i want to change some value here instead of 16 let's say i want to make it to 10 and then if you save this or simply close and do you want to save the file so so this is another way of updating certain values in your test data okay this can be done directly coming to the json file and you can keep modify and test it so this is another option that i wanted to let you know so thank you guys hopefully you have got some important information also i would recommend you to go through this particular documentation data driven testing okay i have shown you about the uh, auto generate option i have shown you the file option i have shown you how you update the test data similarly you have an option to remove the test data how you do it go back go to let me close this projects panel right click and there is something called remove test data this is the option just talking about which is going to remove or delete all the test data okay remove the test data from the test case uh, modify test.json this i have shown you so these are couple of important information which i have shown you practically on your app studio hope that would help you to know these are the options available okay so if any questions are framed around this you could you know recall and should be able to answer those questions so thank you guys for watching let's move on to our next topic and don't miss out to subscribe to my channel go to my channel home page and click on the subscribe button beside the logo and also you can click on the inverted triangle and click on this notification icons to stay updated